Hello, and welcome back to Ms. Gimbo's classroom. Today we're looking at illustrative math, geometry, lesson one, unit one. We're looking at the student practice problem solves. Let's get started. Problem number one. Here's a diagram of a straight edge and a compass construction. This means somebody drew the circles using a compass and the lines using a straight edge, such as a ruler, to create this figure. C is the center of one circle, so that's right here, and B is the center of the other, right over there. Explain why the length of segment BD is the same as the length of segment AB. So I'm going to look at BD, and I'm going to highlight him so it's clear what I'm looking at. Then I'm going to look at the length of segment AB, and I'm going to highlight him. Now, if you recall in your lesson, the definition of a circle is a set of points that is equidistant from a center, which means every single point on the edge of a circle will be exactly the same distance from the center. This holds true for any circle. So if we're looking at circle C, every single point on the edge is exactly the same distance from the center. But going back to our questions, because A lies on the edge of the circle and D lies on the edge of the circle, we can conclude that AB is the same length as BD because they're both points on the edge of the circle. So let's write that out. Because A and D lie on the edge of circle B, we know from the definition of a circle They are, excuse the handwriting, the same distance from the center, point B. Therefore, AB must equal BD. I'm going to draw my line segment lines now. If you need a second to write this down or go over it, take a second, pause the video, and rewind. Let's move on to the next question. Problem number two. We have to zoom out a little bit for this one so we can see all the options. They are used compass to make a circle with a radius is the same length as segment AB. To label the center C, which statement is true? So let's zoom out a tiny bit more. There we go. So Claire used a compass and she made a radius. So here's my radius FC. I'm going to mark him as the same length as AB, which is right here. Which statement is true? AB is greater than CD. So looking at this, I think this might be true. So I'm going to put a little check mark next to it. But I want to look at my other answers first. AB is the same is equal to CD. If I look at AB, we see CD is shorter than the radius, and we know that AB is the same as the radius of the circle, so this can't be right. AB is greater than CE. We know AB is the same as FC, and EC has to be longer than FC, so this can't be right. Finally, we have AB is equal to CE. Well, AB is equal to FC, and CE is longer, so that's not correct. Which brings us back to what we originally thought was the correct answer, which is answer A. Now, it's always important with multiple choice questions to look at every single answer choice before coming to your final conclusion. Let's look at problem three. The diagram was constructed with a straight edge and compass tools. Points A, B, C, D, and E are all on line segment C, D. So I'm going to find C, and I'm going to find D and I see how all of these points are all lined up. Name a line segment that is half the length of CD. So I see CD goes all the way over there. I immediately want to say, hey, that's half, but we are geometry students now, and that is not what we do. So let's think back to our definition of a circle. I remember that all radiuses are the same. So if I have radius ED right here, he has to be the same as the radius BE right there on the circle that I'm highlighting in pink right now. But if I'm looking at my yellow circle, which is right here, 
I notice that I have the same radius who's going to be exactly the same length as right there. Finally, if I highlight my third circle right here, I notice radius AB is the same as radius AC over there, which can lead me to conclude that these four line segments that I'm now circling, because I've got a lot of lines, are all congruent. So if I want a line segment that has half of CD, I have a few options to choose from. I can choose CB, which is half. I can choose BD, which is half. And I can even choose AE, which will also be half, because each of those are made up of as two radiuses, which is the total, which is half of the total length of segment CD, which is made up of four of these line segment radiuses that we just examined. Pause this video so you can go ahead and write the answer and explain how. Problem number four. We're almost done. The diagram was constructed with a straight edge and a compass tool. A is the center of one circle. So I see A is the center of the circle right here. And C is the center of another circle. Two circles intersect at point B. So I see how the edge of this circle intersects with the edge of that circle at point B. Label the other intersection point E. So I'm looking for where my circles intersect, which ends up right here. We're going to call him E. How does the length of segment CE compare to the length of segment AD? So I'm looking at AD, which goes all the way across, and I immediately notice is made up of two radiuses. And if I'm thinking of CE, which in this case I need to construct, I see that he's also a radius. So I can therefore conclude CE is half the length of AD. And I can see that because it takes one part to create CE and it creates two of the same parts to create AD. Most questions involving circles is going to go back to that definition of circle which is a very useful geometry skill.